So do you feel that maybe there was a perception that you were um, trying to sort of hop on a bandwagon that was that was hot at the moment with that album? No, because exactly as you said, I had I had done it long before Rod Stewart did. Mm-hmm. And so working with Richard Perry, who had worked with Rod Stewart before, I also worked with Richard, you know, with Richard long before Rod Stewart did. So, mm-hmm. so it it didn't dovetail that much for me. Right. And then how how did the I mean the idea that um, Moonlight Serenade was your I think it was your highest charting album since, in at least since the seventies. With I mean, is it at all sort of a almost like a backhanded compliment that an album that does so well is is made up of material that um, you didn't write, or would you have preferred... Not to... at all. No. Not at all. I was totally thrilled. Mm. Completely thrilled. And I and I also, you know, certainly feel that, um, that that doesn't have very much to do with what, what I think my best work is. Mm. I mean, and I also think that I know better than anybody else, and that and that I wouldn't necessarily go and get the same kind of pizza that everybody else would. It's, it's just, you know, I do know, I do know my best work, and and I'm very satisfied with 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 my knowledge of it because I think I think it's um, you know, I think I know better than anybody else about uh, about my work, and of course that doesn't offer objectivity, but there is a certain way that an artist has of 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 being able to see inside themselves and when their art that their artistry or whatever co joins with the soul, meets the soul, that that that's that's the most satisfying thing that, that can happen to an to, to somebody who calls themselves an artist. So I guess then the the two questions would be what do you think was your best work and where does um into white fit sort of in that spectrum or relative to that? Well, if we want to talk about an album with my own material, um, I think the album that I like, that that I feel the most, the most close to is my most personal, which was my most personal album called The Bedroom Tapes, which just when Clive Davis was fired from Arista and L.A. Reid came along, uh, L.A. Reid did not want to promote it, and so I actually bought it back, so I own that album now, and whenever is the right time, I'm going to release it with, you know, a couple of changes and a couple of new songs on it, but that's the one that I feel is 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 my own personal gem. And am I, am I correct in saying that that album sort of came out of a problem, of a period when you were having some health problems? Well, I made it Yes, I made it when I was going through chemotherapy. Mm-hmm. And then when I released it and Clive left Arista and L.A. Reid came in, L.A. Reid didn't, didn't want to know from, you know, from personal songs about scars. <laughs> right, right. So then Into White must have felt like a relative breeze compared to that, I imagine. Well, it wasn't the soul-searching album that, that the Bedroom Tapes was and that other albums of mine, of, you know, of my writing have been. But but the bedroom tapes, I mean I mean uh, into white has a certain intimacy that the bedroom tapes doesn't even have because of the way it was recorded and because of the way of the intimate nature of the almost non-studio kind of setting. But the friends getting together and making noises <laughs> that sound beautiful. So it's kind of like a play group. Right, as opposed to a studio album, it was like a play group where we all got to have finger play, uh, paints and sit on the floor and make colors. And so, my last question is, um, and this is the the embarrassing one that I I'm obligated to ask though, but um, why why do you think people are so obsessed with knowing your who your Sylvain is about? Why do you think people are obsessed? Yeah, well, people like what they can't have, and so that's the only reason the only reason i mean and and i be i guess people have been interested in my love life or at least were for a certain portion of time when i was when i was single and um and and i did know some 
do know some very interesting people. And so they think, well, which one of those interesting people are those are those rather evocative words about? And so, but it's just because it's because they don't know them that they want to know them. Hmm. It's just it's just human nature. But I mean, it's also probably time for that question to be answered. So I'm finally giving you the chance to tell me who the <laughs> song is about. No, I'm sorry. I thought I'd trick you, but it would bore you terribly. <laughs> 